and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last Singleton Gauntlet. We got a donation deck to play one more uh, Singleton Gauntlet. So we're going to be doing this with Mega Keg is what we're calling this deck because basically Mega Keg is the expedition type for Bilgewater and Noxus together. Our deck doesn't really have anything to do with kegs though, but we've been using the the expedition names to be able to name these because with it being singleton here it's it's pretty hard to to name them so that's what we're going with our only like real k cards i suppose are like petty officer and gangplank but still i guess it's gonna be mega keg <laughs> it sounds kind of cool though um but yeah we got uh we got i was about to say shadow isles but no um noxus and bilgewater <laughs> i'm just gonna say the wrong thing uh, but yeah, we got Noxus, Bilgewater, got a bunch of good stuff here. We got two big ships, Dreadway, Leviathan at the top end. Uh, definitely love Shipwreck Hoarder. I think that card's really good. Um, and then yeah, just got some a bunch of good fives, fours. Like this looks like a pretty powerful deck. Uh, got some good removal. We have some nab cards for some card advantage. Um, even got a whole lot of one mana cards too. So we can try to get ahead. Looks like a pretty interesting deck to play. And so that's what we're going to do. Um, so these gauntlets, you know, singleton, so we're only playing one of each copy. We're playing until we win seven or lose two in a row. Whatever happens first, hopefully the win seven. Yes, yeah, so we have two, we have two seven wins. Yep, we've done four gauntlets. This is going to be gauntlet number five. And we went 0 and 2 and 1 and 2. And then seven and zero and seven and zero. Like those are our four records. <laughs> so we either lose right away, or we win them all. Um, and hopefully this is one of those win them all. I don't know if I keep any of these. I was, I was looking at like all the spells and kind of thinking like, what am I going to do with any of them or. I don't know. So, it's so hard, like with Singleton, of like thinking, okay, will these will these spells match up? Who knows? All right, I'll just trade those. I had I hesitated on wanting to trade because of Blade's Edge. Cool. I'll take no blocks. Wow, that's intense. It's a tough play. Tough play. We can go Katarina, Blades Edge that thing. But then Katarina gets picked back up to our hand. Or we could go one of these three drops. I think we'll just do that. We'll just do the Katarina, Blades Edge. Our right, protege is going to be pretty good. We're going to level up our Swain. I guess I guess we've only got 3 out of 12. It's just we've triggered Swain 3 times. It's just each one's just been one. not good so next turn I will have six mana I can go petty officer powder keg and then death's hand with the powder keg and we can kill misfortune oh yeah they drew an extra one because of because of that Nothing. 
personal. This will shake him. The hunter. Where are you going? I kind of thought they would block there. I thought they would be a little scared with the protege and want to block there. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my gosh. I can't let this damage happen. What am I doing? <laughs> that would kill my powder keg. Can't have that thing kill the powder keg. Out. The Marcian soldier is worth ten foes. What just got burned? Is that Radiant Guardian? I gotta show you the sights of Bilgewater. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand. Hmm. Misfortune and Quinn together with a bunch of challengers. This is not looking good. Still heart, steady aim. I don't block, it's just going to get challenged by the protege anyway. Seven's not the most life. You've concerns, do you? This is the third attack for misfortune, and we're gonna have to try to get rid of that thing. It's gonna be more difficult than we imagine. talking about oh no I don't have the attack token anymore no been a long path to get here. no no attack token Yeah, but I can't, I can't, I don't have, like, the mana to play Katarina and Genevieve Elmhart. Right, like, I couldn't play both of those. And so their Misfortune's gonna level up, so this is over. Darn. The ocean is secrets. Beat Cythria and Misfortune. There, it's it's over. Need needed to kill Misfortune, but I couldn't find a way. Only had the one removal spell, and they had the barrier. Okay, they were about to do ridiculous amounts of damage. All right, 
have Shadow Isles, Noxus. They're gonna be definitely gonna be pretty aggressive. Um, like Twisted Fate with the red card. Ugh, I don't want those. I wanted to draw. Let's draw some two and three mana cards. Come on, two and three mana cards. Crimson Disciple. Okay. Mega Rain is pretty perfect. So we're going to wait on... We're not going to play the 2-2. Two -two, because this next turn we'll have 2 mana plus the extra one. So we'll have 3 mana. So I can cast Make It Rain. And play this as a 3-3. Three -three. We take the damage, but that's okay. Bark Beast out there. Hmm. Don't really want to play Pool Shark because I want to play these four mana cards the next turn. Red, red or gold? Red or gold? Gold takes that thing out. Red takes this out and that. And makes those ones. All right, red. And then. We'll have Parlay take out the Arachnid Horror. Parlay is too slow for combat. But it'll be useful, right? Right after combat. Okay. It represents a whole lot of damage that not going to take now. Alright, get him, Gangplank. Cool. I'll take that trade. We do one damage to them. Because Kato, or Kato really attacks for eight, you know, like getting that extra three overwhelm. So I'm glad that we get that out of there. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want them just to be able to challenge my powder keg with something like that. Cool, it dealt three damage to them. That's cool. I wasn't sure if that was going to work. Alright, I'm just going to play Pool Shark to chump block. One of those. just to kill my, my thing that was going to be a 2-1. I mean, I guess they, they probably don't have a better option. So, higher gun. Captain 
Captain's orders. I think we got this one. Pretty sure we got this one. Oh. Can fill it, finish it out in style. Yeah, their play was with that Whirling Death was just them having a Whirling Death they have to cast, I guess, because, you know, they just didn't have any other real, real other options for it. Oh, no! Harrowing. That was the one card that could potentially kill me. Yeah, because this isn't this isn't gonna kill them now. Is it? Let's see, wait. Where are all these things going? Are, there's three of those going to that? Maybe this will. No, I guess not. All all four of these would have to go at the same thing. Yeah, no. Let's throw down to one. So they survived, but not for long. Jeez. Oh, Gangplank stole Leviathan? I didn't know that. I didn't know that, like, in, in the lore, Gangplank went and stole the Leviathan. He already had the Dreadway, but I guess that wasn't good enough for him. He, want, he needed another ship. Hey, Kratos. Day's going pretty good. You know, just starting off. This morning, we got... Uh, we got a gauntlet deck to play, and then three meme tier Monday decks. This. this gauntlet deck's pretty fun. Well, I like these cards, so I'm gonna keep them. Now nah, let's get rid of Farley. Farley's like, I'll get rid of you. Can see the Nebastian border from here. All right, let's just kill that thing. Do I play? I play this thing now. I'm gonna play it now. No pray, no pay. It's going pretty good. We're one and one. And starting game at number three. Got a good attack in. That's cool. Okay. So we'll take three. So two out of five for Gangplank. No. So I could attack right away or play it. Five mana champion or Jaw Hunters plus Hired Gun. Let me go Jaw Hunters plus Hired Gun. So let me say they just block the small thing. Get a lot of damage in. Got a 
11 in. They're down to 8. Not bad, not bad. Today we fight as one. You pick the losing side. I will take this trade. Please and thank you. Darn. So if I play Noxion Fervor, then I don't get to play other stuff. It's worth it though. I feel I don't get to play any of these. Let's get him, crew. Let's get him. Oh no! I have the one of Withering Whale. That was definitely the worst card for me to see. I rarely forget, I never forget. So I already drew our Gangplank, so the Dreadway is not going to actually draw us a Gangplank. Of course, we only have one of each card. Dang. That's a lot of damage they just took. Ooh. Pretty good. Cool, we'll get Ledros out of here. Where are you at? Maokai's just 7 out of 25. Not really close to leveling up Maokai. Um, I'll obliterate this thing. Well, that's fortunate. is they used the, the box and didn't actually kill um, didn't actually kill that thing Clear it out. is this even a good attack yeah I mean, I could go Twisted Fate plus Vladimir first. I've dressed for the occasion. Big We're gonna do that. No. What are the odds they have one? You know, one ruination. If they have just a, a ruination, well, I guess pretty good odds. And so I wanted to do. I did the Vladimir first. You know, I guess against obviously against Ruination, Twist of Fate would have been better to do first. You would have had more damage. But I did the Vladimir first because then they, I you know, figured they would play something. They would get the Sapling, and then Red Card with Twist of Fate would kill the Sapling, kill the three one, kill some other stuff. That was the. Uh, The th thought process. Safety. <clears throat> Alright, so basically all we have to do is just have them not gain life, and then I can untap, go dreadway, warning shot, do two damage to them. So I feel like this is going to be good for us. Take it up with my Really? I don't think it's going to get that much worse. The ocean herself will fear us. No! 
Oh my gosh! That is literally the only card in the whole format that would keep them alive. That was the only card. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? And that thing's a 5-5 now. So they just they just drew that card. Literally the only card. Well, I have to use this, but I don't want to because I'd rather be able to kill two things. I have to keep this leveled up Thresh from attacking. A couple of times they've had like the only, you know, like the the one of Withering Whale at the perfect time, the Ruination at the perfect time, and then just randomly a ca kindly Tavern Keeper. Oh my gosh, what is this? Just the Rasa? I guess they. I think they get to play with their entire library and just pick out what they want to play when. Um, you know, they're like, alright, what what would be the best card to have? Okay, a Rasa? Alright. Check. Kindly Tavern Keeper? Check. Well, that's a good draw for me. Seriously? Neverglade Collector? With 6 health? <laughs> now I can't even play Keelbreaker. I thought it was safe to pass to them and then see if they would do anything and then come back and then we could play Keelbreaker. I can't even play this now because they would gain 2 from them. Yeah, we have to draw direct damage before Rasa hits me. I, I understand. How about another round? Oh. And we're one damage off. That's a terrible attack. Rasa should be attacking first. It's a terrible attack. But... Damage off. And we really shouldn't have lost that game. I obviously the ruination turn. I should have gone straight to attacks. Um, you know, if I just play Twisted Fate first instead of Vladimir first, we win. Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's definitely some things I could have done to win, but oh my gosh, that was a, a lucky opponent for sure. Wow. Even with the treasures, that was the one treasure that, that probably didn't win me the game. You know, like if we get the three eight eights with fearsome, it would have been fine. We even just got the wrong treasure. Okay, so we're keeping keeping Pretty insane game. Let me show you what I can do. So, the Shadow Isles champs again, but with Vi Heimerdinger. Crimson Disciple is pretty good against Cursed Keeper.
Yeah, so the ultimate challenge deck that we're going to play later um, is a deck with uh, <clears throat> with every single unit is a challenger. <laughs> so, you know, definitely a meme tier deck. Um, everything has challenge. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how well we can do with that. Well, we're gonna level up Gangplank pretty fast. Hey, boo. No, we we do need more bubble bear bubble bear mind meld, don't we? Bubble bear is like the most fun name to say. Ooh, I love that we took Raspy on dying. Let's get that life steal card out of there. Love that. I kind of like playing the Legion Grenadier after combat anyway, because if you play Legion Grenadier post-combat, there's a better chance they block the Powder Monkey. They're more scared about their life total. We kind of got some extra damage in there. I like that. I like that we got extra damage. Have a mushroom. Have three. Okay. Here, have a mushroom. Mushrooms do trigger the damage for Gangplank as well. The 2 is a little annoying, so the 2 5 blocked the 3 1. Do I not attack with the 3 1 then? I think we can attack with the 3 1. Kill. Let's see, do I want to do damage upstairs? Let's see, so if we do damage upstairs, that's five. Yeah, we just do damage upstairs. Even though I want to kill Pupcat Peddler. But that's a lot of damage. took one of their main life steal cards. Alright, they got ten puff caps. So if they draw one or two or three or six of those. I let them gain three life. It's just better for me if I let them gain three life. I otherwise I could have gone Death's Hand, Noxion, Guillotine. That combo. But it's just kind of better if we go 
um, guillotine with these. You know, now we have we have six mana. Now we can go double guillotine. I don't know. Maybe that's not better. Killing the extra thing, but maybe it's not actually better. If I would have done like that that play first, they would have they would have done you know, they would have been able to attack me for a lot more, maybe done like seven damage to me. Get him, Swain. And Leviathan. No blocks on the Overwhelm. So take it. Oh, wow. I think that Hex Tech Transmogulator, I think that's what the Flash of Brilliance created, honestly. Wow, what a card. Okay, yeah, I mean... That happens, I suppose. How do we keep on drawing the puff caps? Why don't they draw a single puff cap? They've drawn zero. They've had four. They've drawn four cards and drawn zero puff caps. Hmm. Really wish I could play Grasp and Swain. Don't keep on having removal for my stuff. Okay, that's fine. It's not a vengeance. For the empire. The few for the many. You I thought for sure we were drawing a puff cap from them. <laughs> that we would take one of their puff caps. I thought for sure we're taking one of their puff caps. Okay, good. Return to us. Strike at their foundations. The hunt is on. Join the conflagration. <clears throat> Darn. Hoping they wouldn't have something to block the Swain. Oh my gosh. 
How are our opponents running so hot? That's good. They drew the Puff Cat finally, so Swain got to stun the 5-5, five five, so they don't get to attack with that thing. That's pretty good. Come on, draw some more Puff Caps. Yeah. Okay. Take one damage. Um. They shouldn't have another Withering Whale available. Oh, no. Yeah. Swain doing some work with these stuns. I mean, eventually they draw the pop caps. I'm glad, yeah, glad they're drawing the pop caps now and not earlier, I suppose. Discarded Mist Call. Let's go, Cat. Some extra attacks? Yes, please. Okay, basically tapped out. Yeah, draw those buff caps. I think we got this. There we go, GG. Two and two. Ones were couple amazing games in a row. The first one, my opponent got real lucky and won. That that game, I got very lucky and won with some of those puff cap hits. A couple amazing games in a row. Nothing wrong with those five mana cards, but they are five mana cards, so we'll get rid of those. And we'll start off with Saboteur. Try to get Jagged Butcher to be a 3-3 three, three if we can. I have my orders. Never seen some. some great games. Nothing escapes my watch. See how now like I play this as a 2-2? Two -two? No, but like we have all these three mana cards. Eh. Nothing sounds that enticing. So I could go cat, get the blade's edge, and kill that thing with the blade's edge, so it doesn't get to block. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Sure, that thing can block. Worst case scenario, of course, is they have Brittle Steel. Because Brittle Steel kills Cat. Alright, good. They don't have Brittle Steel. Alright, so neither of us have anything in play. We both have six cards in play. Bragging about it. As the arrow flies. Hmm. Could 
block it for guillotine. But no. get the attack hit and be able to kill that with guillotine with the attack. These are our lands. Everyone mm. So I really want Guillotine to kill that thing too. Pain is nothing. Huh. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Looks like I'm just gonna kill two things with guillotine. The I'm like you know whatever challenges the crimson curator I don't get to kill. Love it. Okay. Oh, I still can only kill two things with guillotine because I played this. Um. Yeah, we'll just kill the two things with guillotine, because we'll kill this before this kills my curator. And then kill that. this and could go citrus courier or Katarina no or seven I have four seven. Saving that. So Thresh does challenge Cat. That would put Thresh down to three health, so Devour Adepts with the four health would be larger. Leviathan. Leviathan pretty good. Is it the Gustas? Who knows? They will bend for death. Yes, you. Ha! This is fun, yes? Okay, down to two.
I'm just gonna pass, because if they pass back, we win. So they have to act first. Good call there, Twitcher. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Just pass, because they have to do stuff. And then we can react to that. Could maybe have two misfortune attacks. Yeah, the onus is on them to do something. Go, just hit the pass button. Go to the next round start. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Next round start. I'd ship that. Three mana left. Victory awaits. Only there's many three mana things that deal to Swain. If I if I go misfortune, they could have. Looking for trouble? It found you. Love ya. There we go. I like just leading with the Swain first, uh, lead with the Misfortune, they Black Spirit. I mean, I guess I'd still have Swain. I guess either way, we would be fine. But I was thinking, like, lead with the Swain, they have to play, like, a fearsome thing to try to block it. Then they don't have mana to kill Misfortune, and then we play Misfortune. If there's any combination of cards, it would... They would have to have Arachnid Horror and Absorb Soul. They would need those two cards. I guess that those are the combination of two cards they could have with three mana to stay alive. Arachnid Horror and Absorb Soul. Uh, Bilgewater Frail Yord. trade but get those level up starting singleton you still get turn one open hawk <laughs> uh, get bloody get paid yeah, so basically the Arachnoid Horror would be a 3-2 Fearsome to be able to block Swain. And they could have their Spiderling block Misfortune, and they'd use Absorb Soul to kill either one. And... Wow, we're just... That's a great start. Fortune favors the bold. Hey there, Red. Well, that's one fantasy come true. God protect the villages. Love ya. Son of a... Set sail. All right, so not going to, uh, not going to block. So I'm going to try to have Jaw Hunters take down Misfortune this next turn anyway. Um, 
harvesting. Maybe I should kill the wolf rider. Everything's in place. Um, I know what I'm, I'm worried about harsh winds if I if I go misfortune attack also, worried about harsh winds. Death's hand, you can't quite kill things for me. Just six damage. I mean, blocking only saves two of it. So much damage. Love ya. going to frostbite my abyssal eye at the beginning of the turn. Good news is none of these are very good blockers. You get one more attack somehow. Good news is we are attacking for a lot and none of those are good blockers. Doubt they're gonna take twelve. That's that's a good point there. That yeah, if I would have blocked, they could they'd, then they would have had a chance to go like Fury of the North or something, buff that Wolf Rider, make it even more damage on me. Uh, so wow. Okay, they are taking twelve. That's risky. Disarm. Best way to the heart is between the ribs. That's pretty risky taking twelve. Get your opponent down to one. Gotta have a warning shot. Could I have... Wait. Yeah, okay. Death's Hand only does two damage to an enemy. So I couldn't... I couldn't Death's Hand my own Legion Grenadier. <laughs> just came back... Came back just in time to see the killer warning shot. Yeah, that was a... Perfectly timed warning shot. <laughs> Why should warning not shot not be able to kill the opponent? Why not? Oh, because it's not because it's no longer a warning. It's a lethal shot. I see what you're saying. The warning is, you gone die. In the War Mother's name. Is lit. I think this is working out pretty well for us. Jaw Hunters is perfect against the Unscarred Reaper. We trade half of our two drop for their two drop. Fresh 
Flesh is worth at least twice as much. Pledge to Sejuani Curve. Gotten rid of two of their cards so far, and we haven't actually spent a card yet. <clears throat> so that's pretty good. Okay, so they'll kill my jaw hunters, unfortunately. But we get to kill Cat. They could have responded with, like, the Blade's Edge to their own Garstain stuff in. take advantage of getting those other things because we're, we're going to have to use multiple cards to start dealing with these. doing this right now because this <clears throat> I'm kind of planning on having this house spider just block um, Averroes in Hearthguard anyway. Yeah, it is possible to play singleton deck with only one region. Yeah, yeah, we played against Mod Demacias. They they didn't look too strong. I wouldn't really recommend it, but it is possible. So I'm hoping Make It Rain can take out those things and not do damage to the Stefan. That would be kind of annoying if it dealt damage to the Stefan. <laughs> Perfect. All right, that's fine. Basically, if it did do damage to the step in, then I was gonna have to try to figure out like what to do with like higher gun and challenge the step in and things like that. Don't think I'm playing you, Ember Maiden. No one's the wiser. Get bloody, get paid. Lady Luck is smiling. Oh, we 
have some options. Oh no. Oh no. So Riptide Rex is probably not a good idea right now because if we kill Trindamir, then Trindamir comes back as a 10-10. Um, and that doesn't sound great. If I could play Leviathan and block Trindamir. Twisted Fate's at 7 out of 8. I guess you can win them. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to go down to two, and yeah. So Ember, Ember Maiden doesn't have any Attack. use. True. I mean, I'm not going to be playing Ember Maiden. That's okay. I need to play Ember Maiden. something pretty cool about the single Tengala, the icon you gain from winning seven games is actually inspired from the belt of Minotaur Reckoner. That is something pretty cool. I did not know that. That is something pretty cool. Alright, can we kill them? We can probably kill them, right? It's like Swain, Swain, like the warning shots with the Swain stun their blockers. They don't get to block. They're at 14. Yeah, we're gonna kill him. Fire knows its own. Soak it in. What the badge is cool. The badge looks good. Yeah, Swain pretty strong with Twisted Fate also. Yeah, we still win. Such little lives. Dead in their tracks. So they're all stunned. They go down to two. We play another warning shot, put them down to one. And then beginning a round start. They take one. All right, GG's. Five and two. Start off a little rocky, we've won four in a row. Hopefully we get two more. So that's from the belt of Minotaur Reckoner. Yeah, basically the, the gold card does the strongest thing that's not stunned, right? Isn't that why? Did that? I don't know. One of them. One of them does something like that. All right, I don't really like any of those cards. Um, even Monkey Idol, you know, like it's a Monkey Idol is a fantastic Fiora target. I didn't really want that. I'm just gonna play this Bull Shark here. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get a two mana card. Whoops. Alright, well I didn't want this Razor Skill Hunter anyway. Sure hope this works. Please, 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 please. Yeah. Darkness. Of course, all they needed was something to pump up. Um, Give us some room. 
Something to pop up Zed. Alright, gonna take that four damage. Gold card that thing. Nice. This game's going really well for us. Didn't use any kind of protection to save that thing. GG, six and two. That went perfect. It was in the cards. Alright, we got one chance at the final battle. One chance to get that seventh win. That was a great game. Well, for us, because we just smashed him. Wasn't necessarily a great game. It'll be interesting. Probably a bunch of... Okay. Probably a bunch of elusives in this kind of deck. Did we gold card Sejuani? Or did Swain stun Sejuani that last time? It's like, was it, was it the gold card doing the Sejuani? Seventh win's never easy. Had the best one drop in the game. Okay, it was the gold card. So it looks like the gold card says, you know, stun, deal two and stun the strongest enemy, but I guess that's the strongest non. Um, These old eyes still seem far and clear. Non stunned enemy. Seventh win's a tough one to get. That's a tough one to get. We have a, a fantastic start. Roman Hawk, Avaros, and Sentry, Shadow Assassin. Fantastic start. So yeah, so any card that's stunned, gold card doesn't stun again. Insane. Turn one Omen Hawk. Uh, you know, turn two Avaros and Sentry, it's a 3 2, and then Shadow Assassin, and then Elixir of Iron, and Brittle Steel, and Green Glade Duo. This is Singleton. First step's the hardest. Good. Finally. Alright, well, we've whiffed every time with our Yordle Grifter. I but I can't complain. I, I would take both of us whiffing over the other option. seen any, any champions for them yet.
So ideally, my Cato the Arm doesn't take any... They don't block Cato. And next turn, maybe we go like Warning Shot, Citrus Courier. I guess it's okay if they block Cato because we Citrus Courier, we heal it. Ideally. Ideally, they don't kill it. They don't have Twin Disciplines. So I'm going to kill it. Oh my gosh. We are keeping up with them with cards. You own what you take. Hmm. That's not great. It's not great. Swain's leveled up. Who needs me? <laughs> yeah, our opponent's hand is nuts. They make the final they make the final boss so hard. attack my I don't want my four five to get blocked by the three one um, I don't want that to happen we're gonna have the blades edge kill the three one anyway Silent Shadow Seer, I suppose. New plan. Two mana epic. Used to be the cheapest epic, but now they, they printed some more two mana epics. Or at least with that uh, in Ionia, the, the dragon card. The one three that makes little draglings. I think that's an epic. I think. What? That's not cool.
We're down to one. This might but I'm going to kill this and then just go straight to attacks. I mean, I guess because they they knew that my blade's edge was going to kill the the shadow seer, and they didn't want that to happen. I don't know if they realized that the shadow seer would go back to being a three one. I don't know, but they got me down to one life. I hope they're not just holding on to warning shot. <laughs> I know it's a build water card, but. All right. We defeated that crazy good hand. Little little skeptical last turn defensive wise. Like attacking with those two things on the ground was just really poor, right? Like they could have attacked with the things in the air. There's no reason to attack with their three three and three one on the ground. That was a very bad attack. All right, so three out of five. Three out, we played five gauntlets. Three out of the five, we got seven wins. So there we go. That was a, that was an epic game. We had some really epic games in here. Like games like two and three were both epic. Like the one that we lost was insane, and then the next one that we won was pretty crazy too. Um. But yeah, we had we had a bunch of epic games. So real good, real good gauntlet. Awesome. So this was. Uh, from Bachi. Thank you, Bachi. Okay. That's our last Singleton Gauntlet. Uh, Mega Keg. <laughs> we didn't really have anything with kegs, but that's just the name of the deck. Alright, but anyway, uh, those of y'all, uh, watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. You know, leave those comments. I've been hearing a lot of positive stuff about the gauntlets and um, a lot of people saying they've been using my decks, getting the seven wins, and I really appreciate all that stuff and, and love hearing all, all the the good good comments about it. Definitely cheers up my day. So anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching though. I really also appreciate that. And I will see you for the next video. I really also appreciate it. Uh...